It has been observed that Nigeria is losing a lot of revenue by underpricing and not carrying out asset valuation. At the 2024 World Valuation Day, stakeholders have urged the Nigerian government to carry out valuation of assets from time to time. And these are members of Nigerian Institution of Estate Surveyors and Valuers celebrating their 2024 Valuation Day with a sensitization and advocacy rally. With a the theme, the importance of asset valuation and financial stability, members of NISV say Nigeria has valuable assets, but what is crucial is having the correct and current value of these assets. Speaking to newsmen, Ogun State Chairman of the Institute, ESV Bola Orekoya, notes that improper pricing of assets has led to financial instability in Nigeria. He says a partnership between the federal government and estate surveyors and valuers will help the country achieve realistic economic stability. It is incumbent on the government now, from time to time, to carry out valuation exercise in order to know the optimum value of what they have, so that in case they even want to dispose, they will know the exact you know, value of what they want to dispose. So that is exactly what we are talking about. Every asset has a value. But the question is, is, it, is the value adequate? Is it proper? Is it current? That is the question. Uh, but the truth is that Nigeria is losing a lot of revenue, a lot and a lot of revenue by underpricing or not even carrying out asset valuation. So the way to go, the way forward now is for the Nigerian government and even those in the public, in the private sector, to engage the services of the estates of your Valua in ensuring that they assist them to know the, the, uh, um, the accurate, the adequate and the current worth of the asset for decision makings and so on. On his part, the vice chairman of the institute says asset valuation is key to economic valuation and financial stability for both the government and private sectors. He calls on the Nigerian government to engage the services of estate surveyors to know the worth of government assets. We are creating this by a particular awareness that we are the one that have been legislated by the federal government, recognized by the institute, by the federal government, of, 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 uh, by the, uh, the establishment of, of the decree. The essence of valuers, they are the only person that can determine the particular worth of the asset. No another person except essence and valuers. Ogun State has a lot of uh, properties scattered all over the state, both abandoned, uncompleted, and the, 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 the new ones. Government need to know all this. They have this in their register to really know the worth of the, of the, of the, of the state. If they don't value all these assets, they might not know the reward of the, of, of the state. So they need to revalue all these things and register all these uh, assets and to know the real worth, both the, one, the, the, the old one, abandoned one, and the new one. They need to value all these assets and to guide them. That if they want to sell these assets, at least, uh, it, will, it will have to guide them. You know, uh, most of these are our, uh, our, our surveyors also in the uh, public service that also they engage in this uh, kind of profession. But when they engage the uh, private practitioners, they, 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 they will give them also the, the real worth of the asset because they, are the one, they were the one in the, in the private sectors.